Welcome back. I'm Chintamani Cloud. Today I'd like to invite you into a yoga class that's focused on engaging our core, strengthening the abdominal muscles that are deep within your being, and learning how to maintain a new alignment that not only makes you stronger and offers you a new foundation, but can also be really healing for anyone experiencing pain in the lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders, hips. So we really need to engage ourselves differently if we want to experience um, our full potential. And this series here where we do a focus on our core and our yoga practice is going to help us find that. So if you've got a yoga mat, we'll make our way towards it to get started. Namaste. going to make our way onto our backs to warm up our core. And as we do so, we're going to hold onto our legs. We're going to hollow out the belly and we're going to try to by drawing the ribs and navel in and the lower belly too. And as you hold onto your legs, you're going to roll down and engage your core all the way down. And then you can bend at your knees and bring your feet in as you finish rolling out towards the floor. And then from here, we'll start our warm up. We're gonna to start to, this is gonna be really subtle. We're gonna turn our palms to face up and we're gonna push our shoulders in towards the floor. Next, we're gonna lengthen the neck and head by pushing our neck into the floor. That should tuck your chin in slightly. And we're gonna to start to cultivate a deep and sound breath in and out through the nose. Then we're gonna to start to focus on, I'm gonna invite you to visualize and then try to actualize pushing vertebrae by vertebrae down towards the floor. And what this should do, especially when we get to lower back, and is going to start to tuck the tailbone naturally under. It's going to start to invite this posterior tilt in the, in the tailbone. That's going to help us to engage our deep, deep internal abdominal muscles. And that's what we want to activate and what we're going to try to find today. So pushing down into our feet and our shoulders, continue engaging. It doesn't look like much is happening, but you're probably feeling that your whole torso is engaged and heating up just in the simple movement right here. Now to warm up, we're gonna carry that movement into a lift. Keep tucking the tailbone under, squeeze through your glutes, draw the ribs and navel in. We'll stay here for three deep breaths. If the nasal passageway is clear today, we'll draw the breath in and out of the body through the nose. Firmly fix the gaze at an unmoving place. Squeeze those glutes, push into your hands, your shoulders, your elbows to lift up for one more breath and then engage, unfurl the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, push it down in towards the floor as you release the hips. And now this is gonna be important too. We're gonna to keep drawing down through the belly as we lift those knees into the chest to release and relax. Good, now from here, we're gonna bring the feet back towards the floor to warm up the body. We're gonna get ready for another tilt, lift the hips up. Warming up the core, starting to engage the back muscles. We're gonna learn in this class that our core is not just the surface muscle somewhere around the belly button. And we don't just activate it by letting the belly button lift and fall. Our deep internal abdominal muscles are activated through specific alignments in the spine. And we're gonna take these hips up for one more breath to find them and then exhale to unfurl, push the back in towards the floor, feel the heat igniting, even in this simple movement, engage, 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 and now a release as we bring those knees into the chest once again. We always wanna be conscientious that the head's not lifting up. This will happen often. And we're always gonna to remember to realign as all the muscles that live along our spine are part of our core system. All right, so now we're gonna bring our feet down. We're gonna get ready for some leg lifts. And this is to help ignite the core along with a major muscle that controls the movements of the leg, which is the front of this hip and known as our psoas. So we're not gonna move on any inhale breaths. We're only gonna move on an exhale. Go ahead and exhale, lift your left foot up to the ceiling. Then take an inhale to no movement and exhale, bend at the knee, lower the foot down. We'll do second side. No movement, inhale, exhale, lift. No movement, inhale, exhale, lower. Now we're gonna take it up a notch. No movement, inhale, exhale, lift. No movement, inhale, exhale, lower with a straight leg. Squeeze the glutes, push the back into the floor. Inhale to rebend the knee, exhale, second side. Right foot lifts, inhale, no movement, exhale, lower. Engage the core, push down, push down, push down. Then rebend the knee, inhale, exhale, left side. 
engage the core, inhale the movement, exhale, push, push, engage, engage, inhale, bend the knee, exhale, right side, inhale, no movement, exhale, lower down. Now we're going to try to do both knees at the same time. Push down, engage, lift both feet up. Inhale, no movement, exhale, bend the knees, engage, engage, lower both feet down. We'll do that again. Inhale, no movement, exhale, lift, pushing down, pushing down. Inhale, no movement, exhale, lower. Let the knees come away from you a little bit and that should strengthen the core. Now we'll draw the knees once again into the chest and hope you felt a little warm up there through the spine and through all the muscles that live alongside the spine from the caustics, which is the tip of the spine, to the base of your head. We want to feel all those muscles moving, opening, and strengthening. Good. From here, we're going to crawl over or roll over, excuse me, to one side and push ourselves up to a seated position. From our seated position, we can go ahead and cross the legs and we're really gonna try to get these shins to make a nice X. And I'm gonna invite you to engage your core by lifting your knees up. So a lot of times I see yogis and I've seen a lot of yogis, they think that we wanna bring these knees down. They think that this is a sign of their open hips, which it is relating to elements of opening in the muscles of the hips. But what we wanna do is activate our psoas, our awareness of our body, and create an intentional cross, crossed legged position. Now we're also gonna find our core in a new presence, not just by sitting up and crunching the abdomen, but by awareness, by creating a mind body connection. Once we create that connection, we're gonna to learn to just engage our muscles without any movements. So we'll bring our hands back behind us to squeeze our shoulders towards the spine and find your core, draw your belly in. Now, it's gonna get a little harder as we walk our fingers out to our sides. We're gonna see if we can engage our core to hold ourselves up and have very little weight in the hands. And now we're gonna lift the hands up. Three deep breaths here, draw the belly in. Unarch the lower back, draw in through the knees, lift them up as you draw into the cross-legged position. Feeling this, activate your glutes, your lower back, your outer hips for one more breath. And now we'll bring our hands forward. From here, we're gonna, we're gonna let these knees stay lifted. I'm gonna engage my outer hip muscles and my psoas muscles to keep the knees lifting as I come forward. And this is gonna be a core strengthener too. So part of this practice, and this is why we call this a level one, is because it's really intended to help folks find their deep internal abdominal muscles who haven't felt it yet. So even in a compressed posture, we wanna draw the ribs and navel in, and we're gonna try to keep our legs and our chest getting close by lifting the knees up as I tuck my chin in and bring my head to the floor. Two more breaths here. And one more, getting a nice stretch in the outer hips and glute and lower back, which we wanna complement our core strengthening with just an equal amount of opening. Now we're gonna lift up. And I'm gonna demo this from the side. We're gonna lift up, we're gonna uncross our legs and bring our hands back behind us and now draw the ribs and navel in. Shoulders are pulling back, hands are, fingers are facing towards the hips, shoulders are pulling back, but core and ribs are drawing in. Feel that core and ribs drawing in. You come onto your tippy toes, first stage. Second stage, we lean back and start bending the elbows. Core draws in. Did we lose our core? Core draws in. So every one of us can lose our core and still be in this shape. And we wanna make sure that we don't do that because when we lose our core, it means other muscles are working. Let's take it up a notch, straightening out the legs any amount, draw the ribs and navel in, draw the ribs and navel in, draw the ribs and navel in. And then we'll go ahead and bend. And we're gonna bring our hands towards our feet and ankles. Tuck the chin in, get a nice stretch. Stretch and release. And one more breath here. Pulling down, feel a nice stretch along the inseam of the spine. Then we'll inhale to lift up and we'll recross those legs and roll the shoulders up and back. We'll do two sets. All right, getting ready for a second set of our boat pose. Hands are gonna come back behind us. We're gonna unfurl the legs, engage the ribs and core, push into your hands to feel your spine help, help to help your spine lengthen. Draw the ribs and navel in, come off of the feet any amount and lift the feet up. And you don't have to straighten them, we can be here. 
If we're wherever we are with bent legs or straight legs, see if you can bring your hands forward, touching the floor, draw the ribs and navel in. Notice if you lost it. Now bring your hands back behind your legs, pull in. Maybe you can now straighten your legs, draw the ribs and navel in, draw the ribs and navel in for one more breath. And then we're gonna lower those feet down and we're gonna come forward. Knees are staying together, feet are staying together. We tuck the chin in, we get a deep stretch along the inseam of the spine here. Deep and sound breathing. Good, one more breath. Okay, from here, we'll come back to our cross-legged position. And we're gonna try to do an exercise here that'll help you feel your deep internal abdominal muscles if you haven't yet already. So the work that we've done has definitely been awakening them, but it's still probably really focusing on even the first surface layers of the abdominal muscles and still not coming towards our spine yet. Although some of the work that we did, I'm sure was awakening it. But this next practice works really well if we have blocks. For those of us who already have some core strength, we might not need blocks. Um, but those of us who are still investigating these deep internal abdominal muscles, we're gonna need some blocks. And, and it, we can do this without blocks too. Okay, it can happen with our hands on our palms. For some of us, if you have strong hands, you can even explore this by being on your fingertips and that's exactly where we're going. So we can do this with, with just our palms down and we're trying to lift the hips up or straight hands and straighten fingers, but it works real well if we have blocks. So I'm gonna bring the blocks and I guess you could use this if you have a firm book, but I really recommend yoga blocks for home practice. We're gonna bring the blocks underneath our shoulders, real close into our hips, and they can be on higher heights too to help give you more space to find your core. That's what that'll do. Um, this height, I recommend only if you have firm blocks, okay? So I'm gonna be here on this medium height. I'm gonna extend my fingers on my blocks. I'm gonna push once again into my hands, and maybe you've tried this now a few times with me. We'll try for one more time for a long hold. Try to point your toes, and this is the, the fun part, trying to lift one foot at a time, off the ground, okay? Try to lift one foot at a time off the ground and let's release. Good work, and we'll shake that out. So without blocks, you probably noticed that for a beginner to the core strength, it's hard to, I'm still not able to push and necessarily in this cross-legged position, get my feet off the ground, but we can push and we can try to lift the feet. And that process of trying will ignite those deep internal abdominal muscles for you. So we'll do some shoulder rolls to help clear that out, especially because I'm sure you felt that in your shoulders. We're gonna bring our hands alongside the body. We're gonna turn the palms to face up, feel that core engaged to stand up nice and tall. Then right hand will face the floor. We're gonna inhale, left arm up, draw the left shoulder in the socket. We'll take another breath here and exhale, we'll lean over. Now think about just not necessarily extending your arm because that creates one experience, but I want us to compress this right side body. Really compress it, compress it, engage it is what we're gonna aim to do in time. We'll go ahead and inhale to lift up and exhale to release, second side. And exhale. And so this works too, but it focuses more on the inseam of the opposite side's body. So keeping the hand in close, bend at your elbow, think of compressing and engaging the inseam of your left side body. Draw the ribs and navel in for one more breath, and then we'll go ahead and inhale to lift up and exhale to release. And we're gonna get ready for a tabletop position. So we're gonna unfurl the legs and come over to our hands and our knees. And I like to use a blanket under my knees or a towel. So I always recommend that around two for our home practice. And we'll move through some cat-cow tilts of the spine. Inhale, we look up, draw the belly in. Exhale, really concave. We wanna lift this belly up and in as we push into hands and knees. And now we wanna keep the belly engaged as we inhale. And so that should be really different. It also helps protect the lower back. Exhale, and one more. Inhale, engage the core even on the inhale. And exhale. We're gonna get ready for our plank position. So we're gonna, first we're gonna do our modified plank. We're gonna walk the hands forward. We're gonna bring the hips forward. Now notice, I can bring my hips forward and be totally disengaged. But what we wanna do is engage, squeeze the glutes, draw the ribs and navel in, push into your hands, push your shoulders away from your spine. So we don't want them caving in, away from the spine, lift the head, tuck the chin in, draw the ribs and navel in. Breathe deeply here, keep breathing. Now we're gonna straighten the right leg. Then the left leg, 
full push up. If that's too much, bring the knees back down. One more breath here. And let's lift up and back into downward facing dog. Walk your feet if you need to. We're gonna make our way back to our knee position. This is just to help us uh, get out of that plank. We still wanna engage the shoulders as part of our core awareness. So we wanna bend gently in the, into the elbows. And now we wanna make sure that we don't arch here. We're gonna push the lower back out behind us to draw in through our core. One more breath here and then we'll exhale knees down and we'll get it ready for our second set of plank. On this set, we're gonna lower down to our forearms and then we're gonna get ready. Core draws in, glutes squeeze, extend one leg at a time, keep the glutes engaging, keep squeezing through the core, head lifts but chin tucks. Deep and sound breathing. Can you take another inhale? Can you take another exhale? One more inhale and exhale to release. We're gonna bring the knees down. I like to move my blanket out of the way for this and we're gonna lower down. Get ready for a sphinx pose, just a mild back bend here. But even in this mild back bend now, we're gonna squeeze the glutes, try to draw the legs together, and tuck your tailbone under so your pubic bone pushes into the floor. And I like this sphinx pose because it's a gentle back bend, but we can play with lifting our bellies off the ground. How much can you lift while the pelvic bone is still engaging? We'll take one more inhale here and we're gonna exhale to release. We're gonna bring the hands back behind us, palms facing up. And now we're gonna do full body. So core is gonna engage, glutes engage. We tuck the tailbone under, do you notice that? Pushing pubic bone into the floor. Now we're gonna lift the legs up, lift the chest up, lift the arms up, lift everything up. The whole body's engaged. Did we lose our belly? How come? Let's find it. Let's lift our navel off the ground, draw the ribs and belly in for one more breath and we're gonna exhale to release. We'll bring the hands down, make a pillow for the forehead. Let the legs relax and take a deep breath. Slowly inhaling in through the nose, control your breathing. And slow rhythmic exhale to control the breathing. And keep going with that inhaling. And exhaling. Good, we'll bring our hands back underneath our shoulders and we're gonna engage through our core as we tuck our toes under to do a push up to our modified plank position. And then we're gonna lift up back to tabletop. So you can walk your knees in and move through some cow tilts and we're gonna get ready to come up to standing. One more set and We'll get ready here to come up to standing into a low lunge. So I'm gonna lift onto my fingertips and this is some core work right here. So this is always part of it. We're gonna engage through the belly. We're gonna lift our right thigh and our right knee into our chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze to get the foot to come forward up in between the hands. And let's do a low lunge here. Good, now here we're gonna do it again. We're gonna lift the chest off of the legs. We're gonna bring our hands to our hips. Tuck the tailbone under, draw the ribs and navel in. You're gonna feel a deeper stretch in your psoas when we draw the ribs and navel in as we tuck the tailbone under. Let's find those glutes for one more breath. And now hands come to the floor and we're gonna get ready. Push into your fingertips, draw the knee and thigh into the chest to get the knee back behind you. And you should feel that right there in your psoas, strengthening you. We're gonna get ready for second side now. So we're gonna slide that thigh and knee up, 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 up to get the foot forward. Crawl the toes forward. Bring your hands forward and low lunge. Now often if we're in this position, we start to lose our core. So to find our core, we're gonna bring our hands to our waist. We're gonna tuck our tailbone under. We're gonna find our glutes, draw the ribs and navel in and breathe here. Firmly fixing the gaze on the floor in front of us. And one more breath and we'll go ahead and lower it down. And now we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna tuck these toes under and we're gonna get ready to step the right foot forward up to meet the left. Once the feet are together, we're gonna come up to standing. Let your arms dangle forward. Let your shoulders dangle forward too. We're gonna to unfurl. Now squeeze those shoulders up towards the ears and we're gonna roll them back behind us. And we'll do that two more times. And one more inhale. And we're gonna draw the shoulders back behind us. We're gonna turn our palms to face out. And now we're gonna find our core. So even in this stillness here of standing, we actually came all the way to standing just to feel this engagement right here, where you're gonna draw your ribs and navel in, but also your lower belly too. And we gotta remember that we don't want this tailbone tucked out. We need it tucked 
under, in. And that's going to help us to find not just our gluteus minimus, but our maximus too, which we really struggle to engage. And this is also what's attached to our lower back muscles. And we want to find all those muscles too. And we can, if we incorporate our shoulders. So we need the tailbone to tuck under for one element of engagement. And we need the shoulders to lift up and back and widen apart for the other element of the engagement. And now we have it all together. So taking this alignment with us now, you're feeling this is probably already strengthening you. We're gonna come into some movements to keep the core engaged. So first we're gonna inhale our arms up and we're gonna pause here. And now I'm gonna invite you to bend your knees a small amount as you exhale, just a small amount. Keep your belly drawing and bring your, think of your knees and thighs lifting up not drawing back. We're gonna lift them up and you're gonna just sit as low as you can without this happening to the tailbone. So what we wanna do is stay in this alignment, arms are lifting and we're just lowering, trying to keep that back up tall, trying to engage the core as much as we can for one more breath. Now we're gonna to inhale to lift up, squeeze through the glutes and core and exhale to release. We'll do one more standing core awareness posture. We're gonna ground down through the left foot, hold our hands to our waist, pull our shoulders and elbows back and we're gonna lift left heel off the ground. Usually we lose our core and we lose our, our, our core is more than just our bellies. It's what's happening in our pelvic floor, our hips and glutes, our, our bellies, but then also our entire chest. So we want to make sure that the tailbone tucks under, the ribs and navel are drawing in and we're lifting in through this outer left hip. And then you're going to see if you can take this foot off the ground. If you're battling with balance, keep your toes on the floor. That's okay too. For those of us drawing the knee up, draw the belly in. Draw the belly in, keep the tailbone tucked under, draw this outer left hip into center for one more breath, and then we'll lower down. We'll get ready for our second side, walking that out if you need to. Now we'll ground down through right foot, left heel lifts. Don't lose any of these alignments. Core engages, we're drawing into center. Right hip is drawing in, that naturally is gonna lift left hip up and it's gonna float this left foot off the ground. Now maybe your balance isn't coming that easily for you. It's okay if you're battling with toes being on the floor, but we're gonna try to lift this knee up, draw in through the glutes, the outer hips, the core, the lower belly, middle belly, the whole package, one more breath, and then we'll lower down. Now keep the core drawing in. Come into your center, even in your stillness, in your samastitihi. And we're gonna make our way back towards the floor, finding a plank position. So getting ready here, we're gonna inhale our arms up, draw the core in, squeeze the glutes forward, exhale, diving forward. Then we'll inhale to our half lift. See if you can engage your core and roll your shoulders all the way back behind you and widen them apart even in your half lift. We don't often take the time to find that, but tuck your tailbone under, draw your belly in for one more breath. And now we're gonna bring our hands down. We're gonna bend into our knees so that we can place our palms down and we're gonna find our plank position. So if you need to step back and drop a knee down or keep your leg extended and then drop the other leg down. Or if your knees are down, that's okay too. Either alignment. We're gonna stay here, push the shoulders away from the spine, lift the head up, but tuck the chin in, squeeze the glutes, draw in through the core, see if you can squeeze all of your being in towards your center line, your spine. One more breath here. Now we're gonna drop the knees down and for chaturanga, we're gonna see if we can keep the spine flat. So, so often when I see, I see chaturanga, I just watch everybody come out of alignment. So we really wanna see everyone stay in their alignment as they make their way towards the floor. And then we're gonna exhale to lower down. Elbows are coming in, but we're not uh, gonna hang out on our elbows. We're gonna lower all the way down and we're gonna release. We'll take an inhale into our back bend, maybe a gentle cobra here. Exhale to release. And then we're gonna push up, modified push up. And we're gonna draw the knees forward so that we can sit down onto the heels and come into a child's pose. And we really wanna keep the knees together here and try to keep the hips close to the heels. And you can place a block underneath your head if you need to, or two or three. We wanna just make sure that we're getting the stretch here so that we, so we need to really keep those hips close to those heels. And then we'll inhale to lift up and we're gonna get ready to spiral over. So I'm gonna bring my hands to one side, my hips are gonna follow, and I'm gonna spiral my legs forward, and we're gonna play a little bit here with 
core awareness even in a simple seated forward position or seated extended leg position. So we bring our hands back behind us, we pull the shoulders back and we notice many times we definitely lose our pectoral engagement in this shape and we start to lose our bellies too. So, but we get up tall, we're sitting up tall here. Then we're gonna crawl our hands out to the sides and now we can draw the belly in. Notice that I'm unarching the space in my back here, and now I'm engaging my back muscles. See if you can fire up your glutes. Notice if it gives you a little lift. We're gonna squeeze our glutes up, pull our quads. Imagine drawing your femurs into the hip sockets here as you flex your feet. Stay really engaged here for one more breath, and let's release as we exhale and dive forward. And what we need to learn is that we want our core engaged even in our forward folds. So you can practice engaging your core here as you forward fold, and we'll just stay here for three breaths. All right, we're gonna make our way towards the floor now. So I'm gonna scoot forward on my mat, it's gonna automatically bend my knees and we're gonna take our boat pose that we did at the start of our class and use that to make our way towards the floor. So we know we can bring our hands towards the floor already to come into boat, but I'm gonna demo hands behind the knees, lean back, I'm gonna take it in stages still, pointing my toes, core engages, ribs engage, shoulders rolling back and wide and apart, extend the legs. See if you can keep your core engaged. Maybe you'll float your hands off. And now if you want to, take half boat all the way towards the floor. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, and release. And as we make our way towards the floor, we're gonna go ahead and bend the knees to refine that alignment where we're pushing the lower back, middle back, and upper back in towards the floor. And we wanna keep this engagement as we start to relax the body. So what we might do is grab some blocks, or if you have pillows, we're gonna use these to see if we can keep the core engaging as we bring the soles of the feet together and widen the knees apart. And this is because if we don't use blocks, we, our knees will go so wide apart that our hips will start to lift our lower back off the floor. But we want our lower back to stay in towards the floor and then to help that, our blocks are gonna come in to hold our knees up. And now I can keep my lower back in towards the floor with engagement of the core and extend my arms alongside my body. And now we can start to release as we get ready to close our practice. So from here, I'll do an open-ended practice. We'll finish in this pose. I'll guide us to close the eyes and draw the gaze within. Take a few cleansing breaths and then let the breath begin to shallow so there's very little movement in your body. And you're welcome to stay here for as long as you're able to. If you need to get up early, that's okay too. And wherever you are, I'll wish you now a great rest of your day. Namaste.